everybody has more control over what they feel and what they do than they think they do. Understanding how a brain like ours creates the mind and the reality that we have. If I'm able to understand all of that, as many people who read your book about the brain and emotions were able to understand, what is it that it offers me in my everyday life? Oh my God, it offers you the opportunity to have more agency in your life. And what does that mean? It means you have more choice. It means you have more control. It means that you can architect your life. I mean, you can't control everything that happens to you. You can't control every moment of feeling, um, but you have more control than you probably think you do. Everybody has more control over what they feel and what they do than they think they do. That control doesn't look the way we expect it to. It's much harder to harness than we would like it to be. Some people have more opportunities for that control than other people do, but everybody has the opportunity to have more control. And of course, the flip side is also more responsibility for the way they live their lives. And I think that's a really good thing. And I think it's a really good thing now when, you know, world events are swirling around you and you feel like, you know, you're just being buffeted around. Even within that craziness, there are opportunities to be more of an architect of your own experience and your own life. I think a lot of people find that optimistic and helpful.